Good morning, YouTubers. T Square T Square Talk. So, hope everybody's having a great day today. I got an exciting video um, today. I think it's a good video. It's something that I think people need to know. Um, but I've kind of had a few questions on this before. And I think some of the answers out there on YouTube are not really accurately reflecting, uh, in my opinion, the true opinion. And we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. Uh, my viewpoints doesn't always share the same viewpoints as a lot of other YouTubers. I know some YouTubers try to promote fear um, to get you to click their videos. Some YouTubers try to promote excitement. $2,500 silver. It's right around the corner. You're going to get $2,500 an ounce. It's possible. And I ain't trying to do all that. Uh, I'm trying to tell you guys my thoughts on it, and they're my honest opinions. Um, and if that doesn't get big clicks, that's okay. Um, but some people like that straight shooting attitude, um, and that it, I might chat a little bit and be long winded, but it gives you my opinion that the accurate answers and the safe answers. So, with that being said, please take a quick minute, hit the thumbs up button for me. It really helps me out, and uh, we're gonna get started. So. The, the reason this video came about was the other day someone had came up to me that knows me. Um, he gave me a call and he said, hey, I got some $5 gold eagles. Uh, I'm looking to get $230 a piece for them. He didn't have all these. He just had a couple of them. And I said, okay, um, I can do that. Um, $230. He's like, okay. And he didn't even say $230. I told him $230. Uh, he just asked what he could get. And I said $230 because I think $230 is a pretty fair price for a coin that is in good condition. Now, if it had been beat up in his pocket and stuff, um, getting banged up, I probably would have said, um, well, lower. But because it was in good shape, kind of like these, uh, it was worth 230 bucks. So the next day, I ended up shooting someone a message and said, hey, I picked up a couple of these. I tested them. They're real. Do you want one for 230 bucks?" I met up with the guy. 230 bucks. He took one and plus he bought me lunch and he was extremely happy. It was his first gold coin ever. Um, he had picked up a few silver ounces, nothing major, but he wants to start maybe getting into it a little bit and he was psyched to get the gold coin. So fast forward a week later, uh, I had seen him again, maybe a couple weeks later, I saw him again and he had a question for me. Am I better off to buy bigger coins and maybe get a better deal? So we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. So in essence, yes. Right off the bat, I've got some numbers. We're going to go over some numbers here in a minute. Um, obviously, anytime you buy in bulk or uh, a more, I'll say, a, a number 10 can of soup versus 10 small cans of soup, you're probably going to pay more for the 10 small cans of soup. With some exceptions, I hate to go into that because someone pointed that out to me the other day at the grocery store, um, that that ain't always the case. Um, but with gold, it generally is the case. The premiums are higher on smaller coins. However, we're going to look at some of the premiums here. Now, for gold content, one ounce of gold is one ounce of gold. Now, one ounce of gold could be two quarters and five one-tenths. So you have 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and then 5 times 0 0.1. Or it could be 0 0.1 times 10, and that's going to still give you an ounce. It's all the same amount of gold. But first, before we get into the downfalls of this, we got to say the upfalls, that or the, the benefits. Um, if gold skyrockets tomorrow, I mean, right now, a lot of people can't afford a 2000 and... 2130 dollar coin right this minute um they can't afford that so they're like you know that that's a lot spent um and so they don't get it they move over to silver and i me personally i like silver better but when silver is really high that's when i focus on gold right now i like silver um, but I wanted to go over a few numbers here that, yes, it is the case that you're going to essentially save, essentially save by buying in bulk, but it's not as bad as some YouTubers make it out to be. And the reason that is, is in my opinion, you're not going to take spot price for a $5 gold eagle. 
Um, it doesn't take talking to a lot of people to find someone that can give you $230 for a $5 gold eagle. So when some people say, oh, you're going to buy it for $230, you'll be lucky to get $202 back for it or $200 back for it, whatever whatever spot price is on this right this minute. Um, you know, that that's kind of a misconception in my opinion. Yes, pawn shops are going to extremely lowball you. They're not even going to offer you 200. They might offer you 150 for something like that, but I think even that would be a high number at a pawn shop. But you're not going to sell to a pawn shop. Hopefully, everybody that subscribes to the channel um, knows that and they're going to look for the absolute best because it doesn't take much to, to really look around. Uh, moving on, though, to actual numbers. So I did some averages earlier to calculate out average cost, uh, or pretty much I used right about where I think the best, you know, some of the best deals are. Um, and I, I don't always like to recommend names, um, but I do check out different sites. Um, I do, if I open a package, say where I got it from. Um but with that being said, I did an average uh, earlier, and an average that I come up with is $2,130 for an ounce of silver right now. It's about the cheapest. You know, you might find it a little cheaper if you look around, um, but that's about the average of what you're going to pay. So I started out doing a base price of $2,129. Moving over to the, and I didn't have any half ounces, unfortunately, but I did the math on the half ounce. Uh, moving over to a half ounce, which you don't see here, a half ounce is generally running $1,116. So if you were to get two half ounces, which these are not half ounces, you're going to spend $22.31. And that comes out to $103 over the ounce price. So now you're paying an extra, essentially 100 bucks, but you're going to have two coins instead of one. Which means when you break that down, essentially you're talking fifty bucks extra or fifty two bucks fifty one fifty um for each of the two coins that you have to get for that premium to come back and and that's just the the premium for taking two coins instead of one, moving on to quarter ounces, which these are two quarter ounces right here. I don't have four um because I generally don't buy uh quarter ounces. I probably should. Uh, maybe because some people like them, but I generally either go with the smallest or the largest. Um, the largest is for long-term investment. If the economy keeps going uh, the way it's going and we just keep raising prices, one ounce is going to be good to a certain point. Small ones come in extremely handy because um, it, it's great if I had to barter. It's great if I need some quick cash, just like that person. He needed a quick Essentially, he was trying to put together 500 bucks. I said, I'll give him 230 a piece. He got 460 there. Plus, I think he had a couple other like small silver coins um, just to round him up to the 500 for whatever his emergency was. I don't generally ask that um, because it's not really important to me why they need the money. Um, but then you take a quarter ounce like this and you're going to pay 576 for one of these. $576. Right off the bat, you can see the size difference. They're in clear capsules right now, all these ones. So you can see the difference in size as I line it up behind it. So you can see that it's bigger. It's a little bit thicker. Um, and so essentially, you've got two and a half of these into one of these quarters. Now, right there, you're talking, when you go 576, you're talking 175. Well, it comes out to 2304. But you're talking $175 to have four coins over this one. So essentially, you know, you're paying a little bit more for that. Um, fast forward, but we're going to get to this in just a minute here. Fast forward. I probably should keep that one over there so I don't accidentally give someone a, a quarter ounce for a tenth ounce. Fast forward to ten of these right here. These are 10 $5 gold eagles. Fast forward that, and you're going to pay for 10 of these, you're going to pay $254 a piece on average right now. $254, dollars 
multiply that by 10, that puts you at 2540. 2540 over the base price of the one ounce coin puts you at a $411 difference. Now, $411 difference um, divided by 10, obviously that takes you down to 41. Nice easy math there. So you're paying $41 extra per coin to have these 10 versus a one ounce gold coin. Now, right there you can see the big difference. However, there's a couple things to think about. The base price that they had on these was $254. However, if you picked up a deal on one for 230, then essentially you've got it at that would come out to like roughly 23 23 dollars uh let me see here. I'm sorry. If you picked up one of these at 230, that's going to come out to $2,300 an ounce. Versus the cheapest ounce you can find right now looking at about 2129, 2130. Um, so right there you can see, I mean, there's a little bit of a difference, but it's not as bad as what they say on if you average everything out because you got a good deal on it. Now, what's important to take from this, because I am long-winded, I told you that early on, is a lot of these premiums you get back, in my personal opinion. I've got to say that because someone out there is going to be like, I tried to sell one and I didn't get spot price for it. I mean, yes, that happens, but that comes down to who you're buying from. If you're buying from a dealer that's going to buy back from you, you know you're going to get a good deal for the stuff, especially if you take care of it like I keep mine in capsules, especially my gold coins, um, because I don't want them getting beat up. Gold's a soft metal, and it's easy to get beat up. So what I want you to take from this is, you know, in some cases, um, one ounces are great. Uh, if you want the most gold for your money. But as you start moving down, yes, you do pay a higher premium depending on how you're buying it. But whenever you can pick up a deal, a deal on a uh, one-tenth ounce, you know, that's something to think about. That's something a lot of YouTubers ain't going to tell you. They're going to start out and they're just going to tell you the facts that I told you a minute ago about $41 extra per every coin is going to put you at $411 per ounce over. Um, and that's not really a hundred percent accurate, um, when you do it because these, and, and here's a factor that everybody ain't taking into account too. Let's say gold skyrockets. I mean, right now, um, people have a hard time buying a one ounce gold coin. I think, I think majority of working people could probably put enough money together to buy a 10th ounce. However, you know, if the price skyrockets, how many people are going to be able to afford a full ounce when you go to sell it? That's one of the reasons why I like these smaller ones. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped the people out there. Not only is this applied to um, gold, but the same thing can be said for silver. So kind of keep that in mind too when you're buying silver if you want to save the absolute most money. I mean, you can do it by buying bigger 10 ounce bars. Um, but I mean, I, I prefer smaller stuff. So thank you all for watching. Have a great one. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I'll see